In NX2312, we have the ability to create a customized tab layout for our resource bar. So a while ago, Siemens introduced the ability to take multiple windows as we have here in my assembly, I have a part in that assembly, and place these any way that I want within the screen. I can take them upper, lower, etc., and leave it floating or dock it and uh, with the ability to move these around as well, which was brilliant. They've taken it a step further with the resource bar. Now with the resource bar, you have the ability to come in and say that you want the resource bar to float. Okay, I can take this, put it on another screen. I have a screen off to the left. You don't see it any longer, but it is there and I can place this anywhere that I want. Now I've had a similar ability to do this under preferences with the resource bar, but it just sort of docked it in one spot right off to the side. And it was useful. I used it. But uh, with this, I can basically tear this away, put it anywhere that I want to. I have a very large screen. I can move it off to the very far side on the large screen as well and really customize my layout. Other things that you can do now, let me go ahead and close this so it docks it. Now, I've seen a lot of people do this in the old days where they take the assembly navigator and they take it and they move it down to the bottom and they like to dock it so it's spread out across the entire bottom. But now notice, I have this docking control that appears. So if I go over here, you'll note that it wants to dock it to the bottom up to the resource bar navigators, okay? Now, if I grab this, move it around again, now, this is the, the bottom there. If I go to uh, this second one up from the bottom here, you'll notice it splits the window in half. That's just basically uh, making it large for you if you want. So you can go ahead and manipulate the size of that navigator once you have it docked, okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and grab this, and I'm not going to do anything with it other than just let it float. So here it is floating out in my window. And this now allows me to control the size of this. And we've had this kind of capability with other navigators as well. But this is where it gets very interesting. I like to have my assembly navigator and part navigator on a separate window. This is just the way that I like to work. So what I do is I take my part navigator and if you want to, you can dock it on the side. So here is my assembly navigator. Here is my part navigator. So if I were to go into, let's say, this station, notice there's my part navigator. It's all of the information relevant. Click on that one. No, there's my other part. There's my part navigator. Go back up to my assembly. There's my part navigator. Okay. I will actually put this over on this side. That's where I really like it. But this gives me the ability to now customize my resource bar. As such, I like to take this and I don't want it pinned open, so I'm just gonna shrink it. So now that resource bar is minimized. I have my navigators and once again, I like to put these on a different part of my screen. So I have a big full screen of my, for my graphics window, for my icons, whatever it is that I want, and I can now quickly work within the context of my various navigators. Something else that you can do is I'll take my part navigator, and this time, instead of docking it on the bottom or side or up or wherever, if I go to the middle of my docking control, it creates a tabbed group. So there's my assembly navigator. There is my part navigator. So once again, I can have these in one area and I can put multiple this here. So there's my constraints navigator. There's my part navigator, etc. So these are nicely nested 
down below. So again, if I were to move this off to the side and for my resource bar, maybe you want more space, I can just say float. And when that's floating, I can just put this off over here. And now all I have are icons all the way up and around. And you know, there's my navigator, of course. So you can really maximize. So if you're doing things with renderings and if you're doing, you want to maximize the amount of space that you have, I know that you can also do a full screen, okay? But before you enter in a full screen, look at, let's say if I go full screen now, notice I, I go full screen, there's my um, resource bar and there's my navigator. Now I can take this and push this off to the side. I know you're only seeing half of what I'm seeing, but it's there. And let me reduce that back to, let me go like that. Let me go here and get it back so it's not a big giant mess. But that gives you the basic premise of how this works. And the nice thing about these is if I close out of NX, it remembers all the positions of everything. And, you know, once again, like I said, I'm a big fan of splitting the window as such. There's my constraint navigator. I'll just move this off to the side. There's my assembly navigator, constraint navigator, because these are the ones that I primarily use. And there's my part navigator. And again, I just shove this off to the side. So this new interface stuff is really extremely powerful. So uh, start playing around with it, especially, again, if you're using like full screen, you're trying to get high quality images, show display, so on and so forth. You want to maximize what you're looking at. Um, it's just, it's an incredible lot amount of stuff that you can do to customize this. I see this going other places as well in the future. So bravo. Thank you. Really like it.